Guys, I'm gonna be honest with you, this video is largely gonna be a rant, and I'm annoyed about it, like this thing is just frustrating. We need to talk about this particular thing, and I think you know what it is, but if you don't, well, I'm about to tell you. After this sponsor. Chocolate peanuts, go get your chocolate peanuts at Farm Boy in Canada. I'm just kidding, I'm not sponsored by them, I just eat them all the time, there's no sponsor. The thing we need to talk about, unsurprisingly, is ChatGPT. Now I get it, I'm talking about ChatGPT, isn't that irritating? That's the whole point of this video, so if you're also annoyed about that, listen to my rant, trust me. Now firstly, I am friends with many of the machine learning YouTubers that have probably made videos on ChatGPT, and of course, I've talked about it a little bit too. The friends I'm talking about right now are incredibly knowledgeable. I would trust what they have to say. Will they say something wrong, or will I say something wrong? Probably, relatively often, that's just what humans do, whether they're researched or not. But the problem is not these guys, or me. It is everybody else that doesn't know what they're talking about, that wasn't talking about AI or knows how AI works, but they're suddenly making videos like they know exactly how ChatGPT works. They read for like two seconds and see that AI is predicting the next word or mimicking it based off of an LLM, but do you actually know how these models work? Probably not. And yet, well, I get it. You don't have to know how this stuff works to make videos about ChatGPT. That's why it's viral. Every person can go and use it. It's a great piece of software that's gonna help you do your creative tasks, your coding, we'll get into all of that. But yeah, I get it. You don't have to know this stuff, but because of that, all of the content in every domain is about how to use it for ChatGPT. And it's, ugh. It has actually gotten to the point where on LinkedIn, every single post that I see is about ChatGPT or Bard and somehow how Google is losing this AI war when they started this research. Go look at who invented the transformer, which is powering all of this stuff. Just, just take a guess, take a guess. Guys, Google invented the transformer not because they care so much about moving ML forward. As everybody knows, they are trying to protect their core business or maybe their other core business as well, which is great. We love that core business more than the other one personally, but that, that's me being a YouTuber after all. It's great that these ML models are getting so good. They are able to bypass that step of, you know, searching out the information and giving you the source. They are straight up just giving you that information. Of course, as everyone knows, they have this problem, which is basically hallucinating. They might just straight up lie. And that's why Google has to be very careful here not to disrupt their core business. I highly recommend that everyone checks out the Lex Fridman podcast episode with OpenAI CEO Sam Altman. Again, I'm not sponsoring that either, nor am I sponsoring the Chocolate Peanuts. I just think that that's a really interesting episode to watch. You'll hear a couple hour conversation of them talking about how it led up to that point, what OpenAI is trying to achieve, what GPT-4 and 5 and 6, now, they don't actually give numbers too much other than the ones they've already made, but the ones that they're making in the future, how they are constructed, how different they are from each other, and how different they might make the world after it becomes. So it's a really cool episode, and if you want to learn more, definitely check that out. In that episode, Sam Altman ends up asking Lex Fridman if he thinks ChatGPT is AGI, and it is really up to a debate. It's hard to say for sure whether anything is or is not. We don't really know, but we don't know what that means. And that's really the problem here is what the definition of AGI is. If you take the words apart, of course, it is artificial. That pretty much just means a computer. So it's artificial for sure. It's definitely a computer program. It is general, as in it's not a particular task like healthcare or something specific like x-rays. It is broad. It has a general diverse knowledge about the world. So it is both definitely artificial and general. The thing that everybody debates, and it is a very confusing conversation, is if this is a form of intelligence or not. Do humans actually possess some different sort of intelligence that actually gives it the word intelligence or is it really just you know is intelligence a form of understanding different things being able to you know in some way or another learn about the world and then be able to tell that back in different forms it's very confusing but if you go under the definition of intelligence is just being able to regurgitate information and say things in a cool way then yes it is literally agi and we're already there but most people don't think that. There's actually an updated estimate by advanced researchers that say that AGI will be here by 2030 or something like that. I don't know what the difference is. It's very, very confusing. I definitely recommend watching that episode if you want to hear about AGI. And with all the positive or negative things I might have said about ChatGPT or Bard or whatever, I think it's great that there's competition in the space. I think it's so cool that we're bringing these models to production and we can actually get a ton of value out of them. Like me, I am a plus subscriber because I love having 
having access to ChatGPT whenever I need it. I don't always need it, but there is times when it's it can just bring a ton of value. Like if I want 100 video ideas about machine learning, of course, I could probably think about them myself, but you can really dig into these new ideas that you just might have never thought of. Or if you're doing coding, it can really speed things up. Like the fact that, you know, I built like a Flask app in like two seconds because I, I just told ChatGPT to do it. And of course, it's it's still going to need you to do all the creative work, like make all the colors, or at least you're going to have to tell it what colors you want. And it's not going to be able to get too in depth to every single thing, but it is an incredible aid to coding and to idea making and all this different stuff. So I do really, really like it. And as I'm sure many of you might have seen, Elon and so many other people want a six month ban on AI research. Now I get the motives, I totally understand it, but I am not on board with just pausing all the research. Guys, there's companies or there's actually countries, full countries and nations that are not gonna do that. Like even if we asked them to, and possibly even if they told us to, they're, they're just not gonna do that. It doesn't work that way. So if for something this important, like come on, America was you know the leader of like the internet and all of this different technology. That's why that there's so many great companies there and they employ so many different people, you are not gonna want to let anyone beat you to the punch on this. So you just gotta keep pushing, whether it's good or it's bad or whatever, you've gotta be the leader in it, whatever it is. And again, I'm not saying that you blindly just go through the research. I am actually quite the reader of the futurist type stuff about what can happen with AGI. I love Ready Player One and especially Ready Player Two, the book talks a lot about AGI. The full like first 40% of the book is actually about the advances of that and the metaverse. So I'm very up to speed in the ideas there. I do think it's important to regulate it, but I think you have to still be the leader. And again, whatever sort of technology that's creating, America should be the best in it, or everyone should try to be the best in it. I'm just, you know, I'm North American. So of course, I want North America to be the best. If you're something else, and you want them to be the best, I totally get that. Like who wouldn't, and especially for something as important as AI, like it's going to affect the military and all these different things that matter a lot more than just, you know, helping someone code. So it, it's important to be a leader in this is my opinion. Anyway, those are my thoughts on the matter. If you want to subscribe to the channel, that's probably a good idea. I couldn't think of possibly a better thing to do other than to subscribe to the channel, other than liking the video, because that's also such a great idea. Good job for thinking about that. I'll see you in the next video, guys. Talk to you later.